Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she, she conceived, conceived by, by the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, and, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at, and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. And the word was made flesh and, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners now, now and, at and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that, that we may be made worthy, worthy of the promises of, of Christ. Christ. Let us pray. That we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and, and may the souls of the faithful, faithful departed. departed to the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us, us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray. And O thou, o Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the reign of souls. Amen. O angel of God, my, my God, God in there, to whom God's love permits me here, ever this day be at my side, the light and God, to rule and guide. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sisters and brothers, good morning. Good morning. Our entrance hymn, number 262, number 262, O oh God, thy people gather. O oh God, thy people gather, obedient to thy word. Around thy holy altar, to praise thy name, O oh Lord. For all thy loving kindness, all oh grateful hearts we raise. But pardon first the blindness of all our sinful ways. Thou art our loving Father, thou art our holiest Lord. But we have sinned against thee by thought and deed and word. Before the court of heaven, we stand and humbly pray our sins may be forgiven or faults be washed away good morning to everybody good morning, morning father. father and let us bless our god in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us now call to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May God Almighty have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Feast of the Immaculate Conception, week one, Sunday. Behold, the chaste mother who knew no stain. She was chosen to be the mother of God. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my little speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet, my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice, my soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Behold, Behold, the chaste mother who knew no stain, she was, was chosen to be the mother of God. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, above all women on earth. The Lord God himself has chosen you. O all you works of the Lord, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, angels of the Lord, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, the heavens of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, clouds of the sky, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, all armies of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, sun and moon, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, the stars of the heavens, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, showers and rain, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, all you breezes and winds, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, fire and heat, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, cold and heat, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, showers and dew, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, frost and cold, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, frost and snow, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, night time and day, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, darkness and light, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, lightning and clouds, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. O oh, let the earth bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, the mountains and hills, O oh, bless the Lord. And you, all plants of the earth, O oh, bless the Lord. And you fountains and springs, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you rivers and seas, O oh, bless the Lord. And you creatures of the sea, O oh, bless the Lord. And you every bird in the sky, O oh, bless the Lord. And you wild beasts and tame, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you children of men, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. O Israel, bless the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you priests of the Lord, O bless the Lord. And you servants of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O bless the Lord. And you holy and humble of heart, O bless the Lord. And Ananias as a rice Mizael, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. Let us praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. To you be highest glory and praise forever. May you be blessed, O Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Virgin, o Virgin Mary, Mary, above, above all, all women, women on earth. earth. The, the Lord, Lord God, God himself, himself has, has chosen you. you. Fragrant is the scent of your perfume, Immaculate Virgin. Let us follow in your footsteps. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. 
He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Fragrant is the scent of your perfume, Immaculate Virgin. Let us follow in your footsteps. Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After Adam had eaten of the tree of the, the Lord, God called to him. Where are you? He asked. I heard the sound of you in the garden, he replied. I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Who told you that you were naked? He asked. Have you been eating of the tree I forbade you to eat? The man replied, it was the woman you put with me. She gave me the fruit and I ate it. Then the Lord God asked the woman, What is this you have done? The woman replied, The serpent tempted me, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, be accursed beyond all cattle, all wild beasts. You shall crawl on your belly and eat dust every day of your life. I will make you enemies of each other, you and the woman, your offspring and her offspring, it will crush your head and you will strike its heel. The man named his wife Eve because she was the mother of all those who live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing a new song to the Lord for he has worked wonders. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, bring out your joy. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all the spiritual blessings of heaven in Christ. Before the world was made, he chose us, chose us in Christ to be holy and spotless and to live through love in his presence, determining that we should become his adopted sons through Jesus Christ for his own kind purposes to make us praise the glory of his grace his free gift to us in the beloved. 
And it is in him that we were claimed as God's own, chosen from the beginning, under the predetermined plan of the one who guides all things as he decides by his own will, chosen to be for his greater glory, the people who would put their hopes in Christ before he came. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Alleluia. Alleluia. My sisters, my brothers, the Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly favored, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Listen, you are to conceive and be a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor, David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about? since I am a virgin. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Know this too. Your kinswoman Elizabeth has, in her old age, herself conceived a son. And she whom people call barren is now in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So this is a very important feast in the Catholic Church. It celebrates that God prepares Mary for a particular role, if you want to say ministry, by protecting her from the stain of original sin. This means that Mary lived her life in a state in which Adam and Eve lived before they sinned. So if you notice, it is taking us right back to Genesis. Now, in other words, the promise God made in Genesis that the seed of a woman will crush the serpent's head. This is what the story of today's reading is all about. That that is now put in action. God is making that happen. Now, let us remember that despite the fact that Mary was protected from original sin, her free will remained intact. And so, therefore, she was capable of sinning, of going against God. But she responded fully to God, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Now, two things are important. I am the handmaid of the Lord. That is, I belong to the Lord. And the other one, let it be done to me according to your word. And I think that the prayer of Ignatius of Loyola is applicable here. Take, Lord, receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding, my entire will, 
all that I have and possess, I give it to you. I think that that's what Mary, in these words, that is what Mary is saying. By her free will now, no? So don't think because she was protected from original sin. She did not, she had to make a decision still, huh? So that's what she said to the Lord. Now, think about what happened with Mary here and what happened in the garden. Remember in the garden what happened? Eve believed the serpent's word and therefore said no to God. But here, Mary believed God's word, never doubted, and she said yes. No? Eve followed the serpent. Mary told the serpent where to get off. No? Go to hell. That's what she told the serpent. No? That's where you belong. And as a result of that, because of what the first Eve did, Let's see Mary as the second Eve. The serpent crushed man. Strike at our heel. No? And that's why we have so much predicament in our world. But in Mary, the son of Mary crushed the serpent's head. No? That's why we love Mary, so that she brought a son that crushed the serpent's head. No? And therefore, because of what Adam and Eve did, God banished them and closed the gates of paradise. Because of what Mary's son did, and of course we have to attribute that also to Mary, God opened the gates of paradise to all of us. No? To all of us. And so, we have to take note of and imitate Mary's obedience and docility to the spirit. No? She displayed the gift of courage. And all of this are God's will. Her free will, by that she will the will of God. All for God, she says. She brought forth, therefore, a son who lived like us in all things but sin, so that he can be in solidarity with us. I think that is a part of one of the, I'm trying to use a few of the, the prefaces. No? In him, that is in his son, God has come to our aid by fashioning for us a remedy, a remedy, that remedy is Jesus, no? Out of our humanity. So it is important I kind of like the way this line up. God, because of what Mary did, he, she brought God's son in the world, and in him, not, not, it's so important. God fashioned for humanity a remedy out of, a, a, a remedy out of humanity, out of Mary. No? Well, of course, you can't take it out of sinful human beings. So that is why he preserved Mary from sin. So that the cause of our downfall the disobedience of one man, the first Adam, might become the means of our salvation. That is the second man, the second Adam, crushing the serpent's head. One man brought life to many through his obedience. No? Through his obedience. No? And all that go back to Mary saying yes. So that is why the church sees today as an important feast and some of, the, some of the prefaces say these things. I always wonder when I say them whether people are following because they're so rich. I like the one where he says, you know, that, that by God come to our aid by fashioning for us a remedy out of humanity so that the very cause of our downfall might be the cause of our salvation. So God wanted man to bring back salvation to man. So that is why God became man and he used the womb of Mary. Well, don't like to use, use too much. We know what we mean when we say God does that. But he depended on Mary to say yes. And she gave a big yes. One guy says, and sounds to me quite okay, he says that many times in life, we always say yes to God. 
but our yes is always a hesitant yes. Is that true? That we always kind of hesitant. We're saying yes, but we don't know if we want to go there. So you call that human beings in general give a, a little yes to God. But Mary, when her yes was given, there was no doubt. It was a big one. We're supposed to strive to give the Lord the big yes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Let us proclaim the greatness of our Savior, who chose to be born of the Virgin Mary, confident that he will hear us, we ask. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Son of Justice, you showed your day was dawning in the Immaculate Virgin Mary. Help us to walk in the daylight of your presence. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Savior of the world, by your redemptive power, you preserved your mother Mary from every stain of sin. Deliver us from the evil that lies hidden in our hearts. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Christ, our Redeemer, you made the Virgin Mary the sanctuary of your presence and the temple of the Spirit. Make us bearers of your Spirit in mind, heart, and body. Lord, may, may your, your mother, mother pray for us. King of kings, you assumed Mary into heaven to be with you completely in body and soul. May we seek the things that are above and keep our lives fixed on you. Lord, may your mother pray for us, and let us lift up Francis and Jason, our bishops, and let us pray that it will help us to understand that through the redemptive death of Jesus and the love of God poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, we have the power to exchange the yoke of rebellion for the, sweet, for the yoke of sweet submission to God's holy and living word. We pray. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Hear, O oh Lord, the sufferings of the sick and the needy. Let them feel your powerful presence surrounding them with good health and peace, we pray. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Bless our personal petitions, dear Lord. Fill our hearts with your love and establish our steps in your word, we pray. Lord, may your mother pray for us. May the amazing grace of the Holy, of Holy Communion set us free from the folly of sinful ignorance and rebelliousness, rebellious pride, that we may wholly desire what is good and in accord with your word. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by your Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight today be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash us, Lord, from our iniquity. Cleanse us from our sin.
Pray, my sisters, pray, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Our good and good of all his holy church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her, on account of your preve prevenient grace, to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And and with you. Your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you preserve the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb, who would wipe away our offenses. You place her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jason, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and your entire people. 
remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And we lift up to the Lord, Steve Ramsawak. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, let us now call out to God, O Father, giving God thanks and praise for giving us Mary to be our mother, one who gave that big yes and therefore brought her son into the world to deliver us from every evil and bring us into God's heavenly paradise. So let us there say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Moved by God's love, let us share with one another the divine peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Sins of the world, have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Sins of the world, grant us, grant us peace. My sisters, my brothers, behold, Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for us a healing remedy and keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Gather the people, enter the feast. All are invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready, now to be shared. Join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Around this table we dine as kin, beloved family of God. We share the body of Christ the Lord. Here we become what we eat. Gather the people, enter the feast. All are invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready, now to be shared. Join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Around this table we tell great tales, the wondrous stories of grace. We hold the memory of Christ the Lord, so we become what we eat. Gather the people, enter the feast, all are invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready, now to be shared, join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Around the table God's bounty falls on all who hunger and thirst. We drink the fullness of Christ the Lord, so we become what we eat. Gather the people Enter the feast, all I invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready, now to be sure. Join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Gather the people, enter the feast. All are invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready, now to be shared. Join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Let us, dear friends, make the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist because you love us and you want to be with us, never leaving us orphans. Lord Jesus, we thank you and we love you above all else and we desire more than anything else, Lord, to receive into our heart, into our souls, into our minds. But Lord, at this moment, we cannot receive you sacramentally. So come to us in a spiritual manner. Come, Lord, take up residence in our hearts and souls and minds. Come, Lord, embrace us and give us that blessed assurance that we belong to the Father. And help us, Lord, to unite ourselves wholly and completely to you. And never permit us to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand for the Benedictus. The Lord God said to the serpent, I will put enmity between you and the woman, between your seed and her seed. She will crush your head. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David, his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy ones, those who were of his prophets from of old. A Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we may serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord God said to the serpent, I will put enmity between you and the woman, between your seed and her seed. She will crush your head. Hallelujah. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fall from which in a singular way you preserved the Blessed Mary in her Immaculate Conception. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. May God Almighty bless you and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God. And have a wonderful day, my friends. Same to you, Father. Number 156, 156, Immaculate Mary. Immaculate Mary, our hearts are on fire. That title so wondrous fills all our desire. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. The Perpetual Novena in honor of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. In the name of the Father, Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. And, and enkindle in them the fires of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O, o God, God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful, of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise, 
and ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us, while we cause to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us, while we cause to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us, while we cause to you. O Lord Jesus Christ, who has vouchsafed to glorify by numberless miracles the Blessed Virgin Mary, Immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and Holy Spirit live and reign God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest works has chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who for a better and more widely diffused belief in the Immaculate Conception of your Mother, have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Laboré. Grant, we beseech you, that filled with like humility, we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, Despise not our petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer them. Amen. Novena Prayer O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal, we, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our immortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. You know, O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us then a deep hatred of sin and that purity of heart which will attach us to God alone so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin and at length attain to that blessed abode where you are the queen of angels and of men. Amen. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties towards you. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you, we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us, while we cause to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us, while we cause to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us, while we cause to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, dear, oh, pray for me. Wise God. Share my path with thy sweet smile.
and never cease thy care. Till in heaven eternally. Bye.